Nice to see you. I'm Khadar Chupai and you're watching my YouTube channel School of Advanced Chemistry. I'm going to explain cracking today. Let's talk about cracking. Fraction distillation of the petroleum doesn't produce sufficient amount of the fractions to meet the demand of the industry or on you can see the industrial scale. Then the next step is carried out that is said to be cracking. Cracking Cracking is the breakdown of hydrocarbon, large hydrocarbon, breakdown of large hydrocarbon into more number of hydrocarbons. So a process of breaking down of the heavy fraction, large hydrocarbons molecule into small fraction is said to be the cracking. Basically there are two conditions for the cracking or at which we are going to, we can perform the cracking. Number one, that is the high temperature plus pressure sometimes you can use steam as well the second one condition is at normal temperature temperature plus introduction of the catalyst i mean we can use catalyst that is i mean we use temperature plus catalyst this sort of cracking is said to be catalytic cracking the normal cracking the first one cracking the cracking in which we are going to apply high temperature plus pressure is said to be the pyrolysis so there are basically two basic conditions to crack large hydrocarbon molecule into small hydrocarbon molecules. Why is this so? What is the reason behind it why we are going to crack the molecule? Basically small fractions, small organic molecule are having low melting point, low boiling point and more flammability. There, I mean, in industry, basically, the basic use of this fraction is as a fuel. The good fuel is having low melting point, low boiling point, low interpenetrative forces, and high flammability rate. Small fractions are having high flammability as compared with large fractions. So, small fractions are in more demand on industrial scale for the purpose of fuel. Now, the next thing is how to crack a molecule and what are the possible outcomes when a molecule is cracked. For example, I'm going to start from pentane. This is a normal alkane. Whenever you're going to break this molecule, let's suppose there is a pentane, then the smallest molecule that can be made from this pentane is hydrogen. I mean, if we are supposed to break two hydrogen atoms, CHCH bond, to break two CHCH bond, then hydrogen molecule is formed and pent one in or simply pentene is formed. So this is the one of the possible option if we are supposed to make fractions, if we are supposed to make, uh, uh, break this molecule just into two parts. If again we are going to make two parts, are going to crack this molecule into two parts, then the next two possible part may be, one may be the alkene and other will be the alkene. One will be the alkene, other will be the alkene. So you can make alkene, alkene and hydrogen by cracking of any alkene, any long chain hydrocarbon. For example, I am going to break from carbon number one and carbon number two. If I am going to crack or this molecule is supposed to be cracked at this position, then the one carbon is on one side, it will change itself into alkene, it will make methane and rest of the whole group that is having four carbon atom, it will change into alkene. So methane and butene will be formed. Next thing, if I am going to break or if we are supposed to break this molecule from in between carbon 2 and carbon 3, then the two carbon are on one side, three carbon atoms are, are on the other side. So there is a possibility of two carbon alkene, three carbon alkene or three carbon alkene, two carbon al alkene. I mean, ethene or ethane may be formed or propene or propane may be formed. So, uh, in this way, you can say uh, we can make this sort of product. However, this molecule may be cracked into more than two fractions that will be a little bit more complicated, but you can do it. For example, if this molecule is cracked into three parts, examiner is saying that this molecule is supposed to crack into three parts make the three basic smaller fractions uh, outcome as the outcome of the cracking. So I will make hydrogen, I will make propene, I will make ethene. Propene, ethene, hydrogen. 
So the cracking of a hydrocarbon alkene, if you are supposed to change it into three fraction, then at least two fraction are having carbon carbon double bond and they will be, I mean, they will be alkenes. Same as the case, you can write the equation for the cracking of any, so any hydrocarbon, any alkene, any large molecule. The basic theme, the basic myth for the cracking is there is no increasing the carbon atom. There is no addition of carbon atom. There is no addition of hydrogen atom. And there is no loss of hydrogen or loss of carbon atom. I mean the sum of total sum of the fractions have the equal mass, have the equal number of carbon atom, have the equal number of hydrogen atom as that of the original large molecule. For example, if I'm going to break once again this pantene into two fractions, then as you know, the formula of this pantene is C5H12. Whenever you are going to sum its fractions, one is let's suppose methane, other one is butene, the total sum of the carbon of ethane methane and butene will be equal to C5H12. So nothing is lost, nothing is added, just there is the different pieces of, small pieces of the hydrocarbon. We can perform cracking in our school college laboratory, you can say, and here is the diagram, you can see it over here. And in this diagram, you can see that we can crack a molecule that a hydrocarbon or oil that hydrocarbon, that oil is basically soaked in a mineral wool. I mean, the basic purpose of the mineral wool is to hold that hydrocarbon, that long chain molecule. Then we are going to add uh, Al2O3 as a catalyst. So I'm going to crack this molecule with the help of a catalyst. So it is said to be a catalytic cracking. Heat is basically applied where the catalyst is situated. So a catalyst is heated directly, then it evenly spread out the heat into that whole glass tube, into that whole container. Common fraction of all hydrocarbon is ethene. Ethene is the commonly made molecule that will always be formed whenever you are going to crack, even you are going to crack ethane. Ethene will be formed. So ethene is the essential part of the outcomes of all type of cracking products. Uh, you no. should be able to write the equation for the cracking. I mean, if you are the hydrocarbon, the large hydrocarbon is given, you should be able to make the small fractions possible, small fractions. And if the small fractions are given, reversibly, you should be able to make the original formula of the long chain hydrocarbon. For example, in this case, you can see that let's the, suppose there are the three fractions and those are supposed to be formed as a result of cracking a large molecule, a large hydrocarbon. Then what will be the answer of this hydrocarbon? It will be the sum of all these three fractions. I mean, add the number of carbon atom, add the number of hydrogen atom in all these fractions and that it will be the formula of your large hydrocarbon, large molecule. Similarly, uh, if they are asking what type of the possible outcome of the hydrocarbons, of the, what are the possible outcomes of the cracking, then the basically speaking, normally you can say uh, any fraction can be made that is having less number of carbon atom and less number of hydrogen atom. For example, once again, I'm going to crack uh, a pantene. Then any fraction can be made that is having five carbon, 4 carbon, 3 carbon and 2 carbons, even 1 carbon. So, possible outcomes of any cracking process will be having less number of carbon atom and less number of hydrogen atom. That's, That's all. all about today. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.